I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> oh, I did not put mascara on. Oh well. Hello guys and welcome to moving vlog number one. <laughs> I'm so excited that I actually get to start one of these. Wow. <laughs> So I haven't done um, too much work on packing my stuff yet. Really what I've done so far, oh, I should say this is what, December 12th. So I'm filming this on the 12th. I haven't done too much in like packing my space yet just because I'm gonna have the entire week, like between Christmas Eve and New Year, basically between Christmas Eve and move-in day, which is gonna be the first, I have the whole time off. So that's when I'm really gonna do a deep dive and pack everything in my room, which I'm going to be vlogging so you guys can see how I pack all the makeup and my books and everything. So really what we worked on last weekend and what we're gonna continue working on this weekend is my boyfriend's room. So he's a little bit messy, he's kind of a hoarder. So we really just went through and like decluttered most of his stuff already and we're gonna continue actually packing. So we haven't actually started packing his stuff yet. We're gonna start doing that today. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Um, other than that, we have to finish some Christmas shopping and I have to ship a package. So I have to ship my best friend's Christmas present and then we're gonna spend the rest of the evening packing. So I'll bring you for that. But before we get into that, I kind of wanted to do, since I haven't started packing yet, like a final walkthrough of my room just to show you everything. And then we can do like before and after once like everything's packed and ready to go of what the room looks like. So let's just do that. Okay, so this is the main room as it is. Not a whole lot has really changed. Like I said, I've only really decluttered clothing. I haven't actually started packing anything yet. So. We're going to be bringing most of the furniture except for the bed. So like all of this is going to come with us. Got to clean that out. Got to go through all the books. Books are of course coming with us. Um, the lights I don't think are going to be coming with us. But like the furniture, my little decorations, my spooky decorations. Again, all of those books. My bedding, that's my gift for my best friend. So if you're watching this book, don't look at that. <laughs> um, like I said, lights, I don't think so. Curtains probably going to stay. Um, let's see. This little cabinet, my bedside table, we'll be taking that. Over here, we've got the eyeshadow palette bookshelf. I, as of this point, I filmed all my declutters except for the eyeshadows. So that's going to be coming. <laughs> and then all of this will be coming with us. And then of course we have the main vanity. So this is all going to be coming with us as well. I just have no clue how I'm going to be packing the makeup yet. That'll be an adventure. I actually picked up some boxes from Home Depot. So I think that's what I'm going to be using to store or pack the majority of the makeup. But we'll have to really see. And then over here I've got a safe. We're going to be bringing that to the apartment. And then this I really think is going to be good for toiletries. Like maybe in our bathroom or next to the bathroom. So that'll be coming. Um, and that's everything in the main bedroom coming out here in my closet i don't have a whole lot of clothes so those i'm really just going to throw into trash bags and keep hung up and then just hang them up in the new spot this is something i'm getting rid of these are boxes i'm going to be using to pack and then over here to like the office ish area the chair is going to be staying the couch is probably going to be staying um, but my little squishies i'll probably take those and then maybe this little side table um, and then over here is like my workspace so this has to come with me we've got the desk we've got the vanity i was using as a second desk <laughs> And then like all my work stuff, my books, my laptop, of course, the monitor, and then all my other work calendar stuff up there. Over here on the side, I've already cleaned out most of my shoes and this is just like Christmas decoration stuff. And then over here, I've got boxes, I've got my laundry basket, and then behind this is just purses and I've already cleaned out all of those. So yeah, so that's the basically the before that we're going to see. I'm going to be doing a lot of packing. Um, not so much cleaning here, because all that will be in my declutter series, which should hopefully have been posted at least a few days before this goes up. So I'll have that playlist up in the cards if you're interested. Most of the cleaning and packing now is going to be at my boyfriend's place. So we're going to do some shopping and then jump into that. Ooh, my face is a little red, but we just finished all of our errands. I had to go to the UPS store. We had to run to Target to finish our Christmas shopping. And now we're here at Alvin's place to start packing up his room. So let's take a quick look at the slight before here. Hello, chunky boy. Ah, there you are. Oh my God, my little chunkies. Hi. So we did a lot of cleaning here. Honestly, most of this floor was covered by just stuff. Um, but if we take a quick look around, we have to go through this. We're going to be taking this and using the bottom part as our TV stand in the living in the bedroom probably. The TV, everything, we have to go through these crates of stuff. We got to clean out his closet, pack all those clothes up. We're taking that mattress, not most of the stuff on top of it. He's got a little desk um, and then this is mostly already cleaned out tools. 
the rest of his clothes, and then his bookshelf. So we're gonna hopefully get through most of this today so that next weekend, all we really have to do is pack up like the stuff he's gonna be using until move-in day. Rex! <laughs> Little chunky boy. Aww. Oh, you're so cute. All right, so it's a little bit of a mess still, but making some progress. Most of the clothes are done. We're gonna go through and clean out this organizer and pack all of this away, but we've already got a couple of boxes working. I can't wait to see what this room's gonna be like totally clean. All right, so a quick end of the day update. We basically got all of his clothes and stuff packed. We have so much trash. There was like 10 trash bags we brought out of there. And um, we cleaned out the under the bed organizers. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do, but it's at least decent progress. So we're gonna have to catch up on this next weekend. Wait, I was gonna say smile, my dumbass. <laughs> I'm just thinking like for space, after you fold down both sides, it's a lot smaller. Yeah. Like here. And that one's a little bit bigger. <laughs> and then for purely aesthetic reasons, I like the wood on that one. So we're gonna get us our, our Norden. Ooh, I'm looking very pale. So hello guys, it's the day after our Ikea trip and I thought I would just go ahead and show you everything that we picked up. This is really the majority of the shopping we're gonna be doing before we actually move just because we wanted to have like all the big furniture boxes with us so that we could use the U-Haul to move them on move-in day. And then the rest of the shopping we're gonna do after we actually move in. So first things first, I actually, so we got a whole bunch of um, towels. So for Alvin and I, we got this nice kind of dark gray color. We got two, oh, hello chunky boy. We got two uh, washcloths, two um, kind of medium sized towels, and then two of just the very big towels just to start with. Later on, we'll probably get more towels, but we just wanted to have, you know, the bare essentials before we actually um, moved in. We also picked up these two, it's like a really big white towel and then a medium sized white tile for, <laughs> for Rex um, so that we can give him baths and everything. And then if it gets really dirty, I can just bleach these. And then we got two basic just dish, dish <laughs> two basic dish cloths uh, just to start out with. All right, so excuse the mess, but everything else that we got is here in the garage. We we're kind of storing all the big things before our move. So here we have three um, of the bookshelves. These are the Billy bookshelves. We got two of like these small, um, like three shelf ones. There's like small and squat. So we got two of those and then we got one tall one. Between Alvin and I, we have so many books <laughs> and I wanted one bookshelf for my work desk so I can actually store like my textbooks and stuff that I need for work in one. And then these two will just be for our books and they may or may not be set up either behind me as my new background for my vanity, which we still gotta figure that out. But we got those two. This is actually not from Ikea. We just picked this up from Home Depot, but it's also in here. It's just a toolbox for Alvin because he does a lot of work. He does man usually uh, manual labor, so he needed a toolbox, so we got him that. Let me see, can I pull this out? We got just a basic 
drying rack <laughs> for clothes. Um, a lot of the laundry that I own, like all my dresses and work clothes, um, I can't dry in the dryer. So we have to use the drying rack. And then in here, let me pull out the rest of what we picked up. All right, so here on the floor, we also have our dishes set. So we just got the 18 piece Denera set in this nice like kind of gray color. I really wanted the black one. They had black online, but they didn't have black in the store, which is unfortunate, but the slate gray should match with everything else pretty nicely. All right, so I got this big mirror. I've seen so many other beauty gurus use this mirror and it seems to just to be really nice for like filming. Um, so I finally picked up one of those for myself. Um, and then to go with the dishes, again, we just tried to go for like basics. We got this, um, cutlery set just a basic 20 piece set um you've got some chip clips for clipping leftovers and whatnot we got this for the actual um silverware set and then these fit in the alex drawers and since hopefully i'll get another alex set um i just got a couple of those because they're only a couple of dollars and i have these in my drawers currently and i wanted to get another set and then we've got this, it's just a drying rack. It's just a metal drying rack that we're gonna have in the kitchen. Cause we do, I believe we have a dishwasher, but um, it's always good to have a drying rack just in case. And I believe last but not least, we just got this little <laughs> container to hold all of our big utensils, which I believe mainly we're gonna be buying on Amazon. So we got everything that we were hoping to get from Ikea with the exception of another set of Alex drawers. They were totally sold out. So I have to buy those online. And the dining room set that we wanted to get. So it's like this foldable table. I'll throw a picture up. But it's a foldable table because we're not gonna have a whole lot of room. So we wanted to have something that we could, you know, open up for just the two of us. And then if we have more people over, we can make it even bigger. So those two we're just gonna buy online. Um, but everything else for like essentials that we're gonna need like day one, we believe we have. So right now, I believe we're exactly two weeks out from the move. Um, we're like 80% done packing Alvin's stuff, which is where we are now. We're at his house. Um, so we're going to keep cleaning. We've got some pizza on the way. So we're going to keep cleaning and packing. And hopefully by the end of this weekend, we will have all of his stuff packed, or for the most part, packed and ready to go. And then I think probably in the next vlog, we'll start packing up all of my stuff. <laughs> Yay, you made it. Hello guys, so today is Sunday. I actually just finished editing the portion of the vlog up until this point. And I thought it was at a, a good time point, so I thought we could finish out with a quick tour of my first day bag, which is something I saw a lot of people in moving vlogs, because I watched a lot of them before doing this, <laughs> um, tend to have, which is like either one bag or one box that like it's the first thing you bring into your new space. And it has like your essentials, like toilet paper and anything you might need like on day one. So let me go ahead and show you what we've done, because I think I'm gonna rearrange the box and it's overflowing now to outside of one bag so I kind of want to redo it. Ah, coffee. All right, so originally our day one box was like this plastic container from Alvin's place. Um, and then I thought, why not just put it in this big Victoria's Secret tote bag? And I thought everything would fit, but it's kind of a mess and I kind of want to reorganize everything. So uh, let's just go through everything first and then we'll put it back organized. All right, so first we've got just a pack of toilet paper. That's one of the first things you should bring into a new home or a new apartment because you're probably going to need it like as soon as you start unpacking. Um, next, we have two paper towels. I've got one open one I'm probably going to use as I start to pack and clean up. So I'm probably going to have to clean up, you know, dust the shelves and everything. So this unopened one is going to be saved for the apartment. Um, I'm also bringing some Febreze just because... Uh, I think the mattress is going to be one of the first things we bring in and I kind of want to go ahead and give it a good spray down before we put like the sheets and everything on because that's going to be one of the first things we set up because um, that was another good tip that I heard online is that if you're moving try to get your bed or the mattress at least set up first so that after a long day of moving at least your bed's ready so that you could just go to sleep if you want to. Next, and I think this is just going to be on its own like in our car, but um, we did buy our own uh, modem router. Um, we're going to get our internet hopefully set up within a few days of us getting there but we did want to get our own router so we don't have to rent one from the company so that is our router all right so moving over to the bag this is a combination of home care and like 
what is it like hygiene so i think what i want to do is separate out and have maybe like the cleaners and the home care stuff in here and then have our personal hygiene things like in here so i think we're gonna do that um, but first off just a huge thing of q-tips i use q-tips constantly so i knew i was gonna need that right away um i've got this water bottle it says <laughs> hard corg um so you never know when you might need to get water, especially at the new place. Um, we've got these lint rollers just because of Rex, so I know there's going to be hair everywhere. So I just wanted to make sure we had those in the apartment first. So as we're unpacking, I could lint roll or wash anything that we might, you know, need. We do have our own washer dryer, which is going to be amazing. Um, so I got these little sample packets of detergent from my grandma, which is going to be perfect for the first few loads that we really have to do. Um, and then we've got more of the detergent samples right there. So it's plenty for like the first few days of us uh, doing some laundry. Uh, we do have a dishwasher and we had this giant thing of dishwashing detergent at my boyfriend's house. He just wasn't using it. So we're going to bring that with us. We have a thing of adobo because we just have a thing of adobo. <laughs> uh, Alvin had a whole thing in his room. I think we bought it a few weeks ago and like never bought it anywhere. So anyway uh, a thing of lysol wipes <laughs> for the new place um a big thing of trash bags and actually another small thing of trash bags i just threw in all of my shower poofs so those i kind of want to throw in the bathroom there's like four of them so we don't need all of them obviously but i wanted to put them in here <sighs> and then in here we have a lot of other hygiene things so let me pull that one out all right, so this is kind of stuff that Alvin had laying around his house that he wasn't using and I thought would be good to bring in for like a first day. Uh, we've got some dry shampoo from Batiste. Actually, a couple of dry shampoos from Batiste. Let me just empty the bag out. Alrighty. All right, so we've got some makeup removers, some wipes, some cotton balls, uh, lotion, toothpaste, a little shampoo and conditioner, some dry shampoo and dry conditioner, and then our shower poofs. So that's kind of everything that I could think of that we would need like immediately upon getting into the apartment. So like I said, I'm going to reorganize this. I think I'm going to put all of our personal hygiene stuff in the tote bag from Victoria's Secret, and then we'll put everything else in this plastic tub. all right and there we have it so i have all of the like home cleanliness all the products here all the detergent in this tub and then all the personal hygiene things are over in this bag along with like the toilet paper on top it's a little messy but to be honest i just need to put it in a bag so that we can bring it into the apartment and immediately unpack it into the bathroom and there's a little bit more room in here just in case there's any other hygiene things we have to throw in you know before move-in day so thank you guys so much for watching moving vlog number one we have so much more to do more to pack more to clean more to shop so the problem is there is, there is going to be quite a few moving vlogs um and i'm just I'm, I'm excited for this process so let me know down below if you guys like this if you can't wait to see the next one which is going to be most of my packing including my makeup and stuff and i cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye.